On a peak of the Tian Shan Mountains, Alan Kul has come to set his eagle free. Balde. 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 Every year he catches hunting birds and trains them to hunt for him. If his eagles are kept too long, their feathers fall out and they can no longer fly. The Kyrgyz people are now emerging from their own captivity at the hands of Russia. For three generations, the communist invaders took them from the mountains and trained them to be Soviet citizens. But they never lost their hope that one day they'd be free. <laughs> gathered here under a statue of Lenin like a communist Politburo. And none is more powerful than their president, Askar in a region characterized by despots, President Akayev stands out as a liberal. His model for a culturally nomadic people is a free market and a free society. Имели место демократические традиции, как у кочевого народа, в отличие от других стран Центральной Азии, кыргызы как кочевой народ был свободолюбивым народом, и у кыргызов была определенная свобода выражения мыслей, так кыргызские акыны, они могли в обществе петь песни, где они выражали мнение народа о властителях, о негативных явлениях, которые имеют место в обществе. The liberal sentiments have made Kyrgyzstan a favourite for world lending bodies like the International Monetary Fund. But the lavish praise and substantial aid that the IMF has given has done little for ordinary Kyrgyz. Even the capital has few signs of market reform beyond kiosks and street stalls. Half the population now lives below the official poverty line. 
10% more than three years ago. President Akaya insists the people will soon reap the rewards. Ну, мы считаем, что э, нам надо сразу закладывать фундамент либеральной, открытой экономики, сразу приучать к конкуренции жесткой, жесточайшей людей. But not everyone believes that competition is fair. Every Monday night, the press's role for a feisty local newspaper called Respublika. The editor, Zamira Sudokova, is a constant spoiler of the president's claims of a free and open society. Zamira, что главная тема сегодня? Наверное, самое главное, и мы первыми заявили о тех настроениях, которые возникли в Дюборку Кенеши по отставке президента. За последние годы это первое требование. Zamira's paper has accused the government of outright theft. She's paid a high price for her claims. She recently spent three months in jail for insulting a government official, or, as she saw it, exposing a corrupt bureaucrat. She insists Akayev is taking Kyrgyzstan back to the days of the feudal times. It's a summer of sweaty feudalism. He presents himself as a kind of... Ну, наверное, наследником всей собственности кыргызов. И, в общем, он даже очень много после, в последние годы было статей о его ханском происхождении. Вот. И он это достаточно как бы, культивирует и очень много давал интервью в российской прессе. This lavish wedding has added to concerns that the president is moving towards a dynastical system. His 24-year-old son married the 18-year-old daughter of the president of neighboring Kazakhstan. Ну как раз вот подобные браки, они еще раз подтверждают, что правители, которые это делают, соединяют своих детей, они думают о том, чтобы сохранить ту собственность, которую они оторвали у народа, и значит, ее, ее передавать уже из рук в руки по наследству. Акаев describes it as a simple match between neighbors, and he denies there has been any retreat from democracy. Да, есть такое мнение, что определенных кругов, что в последние годы стало как-то меньше свободы, больше власти президента. Но я не заметил, чтобы меня перестали ругать вот буквально. Так что я думаю, что свобода выражения, слова и мнение есть, раз ругают своего президента. to share Zamira's cynicism. This is the village of Baskun at the foot of the Tian Shan Mountains. <laughs> Alamkul lives here with his birds and his extended family. Older Kyrgyz like him, who worked their whole lives for the Soviets, have ended up with nothing but their family's support. His daughter-in-law, Golmira, believes the communists who ruled them simply went on to rob them. From privatization, they got nothing. Because after changes, collective farmers uh, start to divide it. Uh, everything was divided by communist leaders, by administration of the collective farmers, and the people, simple people who was working to the collective farmers, they didn't get anything. But there is one place the Kyrgyz people can claim as their own. Golmira believes the mountains and nomadic life still represent the people's true home. 
As a child, she lived in a yurt during brief periods when collective farmers could take the flocks to higher pastures. I always have a dream about my childhood. Up in the mountains, hearing these, the sounds of the horse and sheep. I like it very much. Maybe lately I will come back. Golmira can no longer survive as a teacher. Instead, she's begun a business, taking a trickle of foreign tourists into the Tian Shan Mountains. These days, she can bring them to stay with nomad families. Many Kyrgyz are escaping the hardship of the towns to return to the mountains. At the end of a four-hour ride, we arrived at the summer camp of a nomad called Demir. Demir and his family had brought their small yurt on horseback. This is home for four months of the year. of a sheep. The sheep and goats provide their meat. Demir owns only 60 of the flock. The rest belong to friends in the village. He brings them here in return for provisions and occasionally some money. Despite his love for the mountains, the hardship of life in the village makes Demir nostalgic for the security of his old collective farm. And not all have the freedom to choose. 17-year-old Gulzina had no say in coming here. Demir's son kidnapped her. Bridenapping is a traditional Kyrgyz custom that communism tried to end. It's now enjoying a revival. Golzina says she is happy now, but she must work harder than anyone until she has proven her worth. It's one aspect of Kyrgyz life that Gulmira does not welcome. She was the first in her village to refuse to wear a scarf after she married and to dare to wear trousers. I don't like tradition, but sometimes I respect it because I know a lot of couples uh, who was stealing also bright and but they are living very happy at noon the family chose a small sheep and ritually killed it with a prayer of thanks every part would be eaten <laughs> Like the eagles released back into the wild, Kyrgyz have once more begun to fend for themselves. It is a hard and sometimes dangerous freedom in which the strong steal from the weak. They can only hope it is the freedom they dreamt of and that their nation will rise again. <laughs>